Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade MariaDB 10.1 to MariaDB 10.2 on CentOS servers. Let's uh, open techbrotherstutorials.com and here we have a database category and then go to MariaDB admin. We're writing this tutorial uh, and starting chapter one with installation and uh, configuration. Uh, that's where the, our topic is. Click here and I have all the steps uh, what we need to take to upgrade our MariaDB 10.1 to 10.2. I'm uh, uh, going to walk these steps through uh, while we will create the tutorial. I don't want to be explaining all that and then uh, waste time there. So first of all, we will check the current version on MariaDB. So you select to add the rate, add the rate version, go to the know where your MariaDB is installed and here I'm going to connect uh, to one of that. Let's change the fonts uh, so we can see clear. Okay, provide the password, sorry, username and password then. All right, let's uh, connect to the MariaDB. And now we will run uh, the query so let's uh, select version uh, and we can see from there we have a 10.1.29 MariaDB that's the current version of our databases uh, okay or actually of uh, MariaDB so let's uh, select the databases and see how many databases uh, we have uh, right here you can see that I have three database uh, I'm going to create one database and uh, insert one record and after upgradation uh, we will uh, come back and check that database so uh, in the upgradation process uh, uh, the databases are not deleted uh, so well we, uh, we want to make sure that's uh, right uh, so create database uh, and call it TB and now I'm going to set use TB and uh, create table DB <laughs> I would not have to say DBO that's like SQL integer name virtual 100 we are all good insert into test and the uh, values one comma Amir okay great so we have one value inserted into the test table and uh, we have the record there I'm going to exit from here and then we go back to our website and take the second uh, command first we check the database uh, uh, that's what the version we have and we want to upgrade to 10.2 the next step is that we have to stop the MariaDB service uh, so uh, you right here you see sudo with the capital S uh, I have to correct that uh, so I, I will take this command as it is but I will uh, update the notes here so let's go back here and we'll say sudo and stop the service services are stopped successfully we can check the status of service by saying system CTL status and MySQL and you can see right here MariaDB server is down great next step now we have to uninstall 10.1 first so let's take this command sudo yum remove MariaDB and uh, server here and then we have a MariaDB client if you do not have a MariaDB client installed you would be only removing this part uh, okay great in my case uh, I have both of them I'm gonna take and run it's gonna be quick yes and you can notice uh, right here the version is a uh, 10.1.29 okay that made sure our version is uh, correct uh, that we are uh, uninstalling it okay this will be very fast step now the next step is uh, we have to update uh, our uh, repo file uh, where we have saved the path uh, for previous installation uh, and then update uh, to the new path uh, okay let's go in the etc yum.repos.d folder or directory and take a look um, so i will call this etc cd yum.repos.d and ls uh, and I can see that uh, I have MariaDB.repo. Let's uh, edit this file, vi MariaDB.repo. And we can see that uh, I had previously installed uh, the MariaDB from this uh, link. So I'm going to copy and open uh, on the web, uh, and you can see how repository look like. Uh, let me copy the whole thing here till HTTP. Okay, let's go back here, open in the Explorer 
and you can see that uh, we have all the repositories uh, now as we want to upgrade to the 10.2 so we should change to 10.2 and see if the repositories are available or packages are available and they are so we will be using one of them the only thing if you notice we have to change uh, from 10 to 10 10.1 to 10.2 in our repo file rest of the path is correct uh, or it's the same let's go back to server and here hit escape hit i and then uh, let's go to the one and i deleted one and i uh, inserted two all good escape and uh, hit colon wq and explanation mark the file will be written and saved all good here now the next step is uh, we have to we are done till here step four the fifth step is that we have to install MariaDB with the latest version as we have done the changes in the repo file already we say sudo yum install MariaDB server and MariaDB client great let's run the statement and we will say check the version 10.2 all good and hit yes this process uh, is uh, going to take uh, maybe a couple of minutes uh, so if you want to go ahead and uh, bring a coffee or get some water fine with me uh, this is 155 uh, MB in some computers uh, if uh, uh, they are fast and uh, they have internet uh, that speed is good it can take maybe five to ten seconds in my case uh, if you see that uh, it's uh, taken around one minute uh, 30 seconds something like that so uh, feel free to um, take a break and come back after a minute i'm not going to stop the video because uh, it's hard for me to merge the videos later and uh, i don't want to break the flow okay uh, meanwhile uh, it is installing uh, actually downloading right now and then it's going to install so installation part goes pretty quick it take like uh, maybe 10 to 15 second uh, max maybe 25 seconds uh, for the installation uh, this is only the download part that take a little bit longer on my computer uh, I have a home internet uh, and uh, I have a lab of uh, around 12 computers uh, and uh, on top of that uh, phones and everything is connected to the internet so speed is a little slow I'm getting close though um, 70 80 percent is the downloaded the MySQL or um, also I will say MariaDB not the MySQL uh, MariaSQL is way uh, faster when it comes to installation if we have done installation with SQL server that take, take time uh, MariaDB is pretty quick it, it is done in seconds uh, as compared to uh, SQL server uh, that take uh, sometimes 10 minutes sometimes 15 minutes uh, depending on the resources available so we are getting close now it is installing so it did install MariaDB client 10.2.11 and the next is is right now installing the server it's going pretty fast I'm excited to teach you the next of the steps and finish the migration successfully or upgradation successfully I will call this uh, uh, upgradation uh, uh, in place upgradation because we did not move the databases to any other server or anything uh, you could have done that uh, and that's one of the possibility we will talk about that later in one of the video okay now the database uh, um, MariaDB sorry 10.2 is installed uh, we would like to start the service um, okay we'll go ahead and start the service service uh, did start successfully let's uh, select uh, uh, status uh, MySQL and uh, okay system CTL status of MySQL and you can see that the service is running just fine and uh, we can see the status right here in the green uh, good news for us uh, now the next part is uh, we run the upgrade uh, and uh, that you have to uh, run from the node itself uh, so we go and upgrade this is going to upgrade our tables according to the new version uh, 10.2 uh, okay paste the query here password and now you can see that uh, all the tables are upgraded uh, that's a good news uh, excuse me would you please uh, mind 
uh, uh, kids are around here so kind of have to tell them to uh, quiet for a second now I'm in the process of finishing it all the tables if you see here they are going to be completed pretty soon uh, they did actually they took like a, a few seconds and uh, that's done the last step uh, I was going to mention you uh, as uh, um, in the previous installations you guys have seen that uh, uh, we have done uh, MySQL secure, secure installation after running our installation uh, and uh, that was one because we wanted to give uh, the root password and provide the configuration uh, in this one we didn't run it because uh, we don't want to make any changes uh, to our root password and all that it was already saved so we didn't uh, need to run that uh, okay the last step, uh, step uh, here is uh, check the version and uh, I'm gonna log into the MariaDB here and I would say my root my sql sorry u root minus p and the provide the password and the here we will check that okay great we can see that uh, the version we have is 10.2.11 now that's awesome uh, let's uh, check the databases uh, show databases uh, my kids are laughing around here and i'm struggling with the, these the things anyways uh, um you have uh, four databases here uh, we say it's use tb and now we are going to go ahead and check the tables uh, so i'm going to check uh, the table called test remember that we had one record there it is still there now as upgradation is done i'm going to insert one more record to make sure everything is working now so i'm going to insert into test and say values uh, the value will be test values two and I will say TB okay great now we select the data and from test and uh, we can see that uh, the, we were able to insert the data in this uh, table uh, successfully now from all these steps uh, it was pretty smooth uh, I, I didn't uh, uh, I had any problem uh, with the uh, upgrading uh, MariaDB from 10.1 to 10.2 uh, I hope it will go smooth uh, as well for you follow the steps uh, and uh, leave your comments in the video uh, thanks for watching this video appreciate your patience uh, being with us uh, and I will see you guys in the next video